Welcome to the History Hunter, welcome to our small adventures with the World War II time frame. Hope you're all well, doing fine, we are busy as ever. Just an amazing array of uh, special material coming up in the very near future. And that's what it's all about. We go out, we discover, we do the research, we do the hard stuff, we go out, we dig, we freeze, we get warm, wet, cold. Whatever it takes, we'll do it, and we'll do it for you, and share it gladly with all of you. You know, you are the backbones of what we do, especially the supporters. Today is a giveaway day to all my fantastic supporters. So if you want to check it out, you can see how you can support our work, either by Patreon or PayPal. And all of these things you see here, we will be giving away to our supporters in the end. So thank you for being out there for us. And what could I say? We couldn't have done anything without your incredible support. But we're going to give away some stuff, as I said. Also, we're going to have a look at some news. There's going to be some sneak peeks and there's going to be something really cool. I've been inspired just recently by something very special. And you will see who inspired inspired me and we'll talk about that a little bit later. But now let's go into this and uh, figure out who the lucky owners of these fantastic artifacts will be. All right, we're gonna quickly go through the giveaways for the Patreon supporters. Every month I create some small dioramas and larger dioramas. I have so and so many, depending on how many are in there. And we're gonna give away uh, three of the smaller ones each month and also two of the uh, larger ones and uh, sometimes there are some special giveaways as well and uh, we're going to have a look at that we're going to have the patron of the month giveaway and also for those who support or give some donations to the paypal thing we have these incredible frames that we have created that we also give away. We just choose the two highest nations and we give away some fantastic details for them to have as well. But now we're going to start off by looking at some of the stuff that's going to come up and after that we're going to check out who the new Patreon supporters are and uh, we'll check out who will win the uh, Welcome as a Patreon team member diorama. Just a lot of trash and buttons and pieces of nothing and then suddenly that thing there it actually fell down, flipped over, so I know what it is. You can guess if you want to. You know, very often it's just about spending some time. Hey, what happened? If we turn off the light, where are you? Oh, you're here. Well, now to something completely different. When you see us out there, you see us go to a of different locations and you see us do incredible many adventures ranging from underwater over water in the forest in the fields in the mountain sides in the bunkers in the barracks in the gun positions finding aircraft we do it all and how do we get to these places well can we take an aircraft? No it's not practical even though we were on the uh, <laughs> we were thinking about renting a helicopter ones to get to a special spot, but we are not allowed. So, well, that goes out the drink. Can we use a tank? We go to a little trash pile out there in the wilderness where the Germans were. Can we drive a tank? Uh, no, bad idea. Um, if you want to find some stuff around a German forest. Can we drive a little car? Well, we can. You go there, boom. 
but sometimes we have to stay overnight because it's such a long distance to get there and that is something that we have kind of really really exhausted so many times and in the end all of this is impractical we end up not doing tons of projects because they are just too far away from anything and when i mean that i mean that there is no way for us to stay there are no hotels there are no campsites there is nothing it's just yourself a little car and the cold freezing night and that is not something that i would present for my son my daughter or myself because we'll get sick and we've been that so many times and then back to laura's idea laura is a faithful supporter and she actually came up with something that i think is such an inspiration that we're going to see if we can come through with it Laura actually donated specifically to a special ID that she had and she had the idea of the history of the team getting a what did they want Laura can you say it please a little bit higher a little bit louder yeah now they can hear it Laura wanted us to get a camper van a camper van to get to the gun positions, to find the hidden tunnel systems, to find the leftovers of the barrack camp, to find the aircrafts up way up in the mountainside, or go to the incredible huge bunker site. Maybe find even more of the interesting trash pies that you see we do, or maybe find some more munition, hand grenades, Panzerfaust, machine guns, whatever. So that's exactly what Laura's idea is, and that is my inspiration. I decided that it's about time that we will actually get a little camper van. To get the camper van, well, I have to be very honest and say, well, we have actually laid money aside for the last three years to do this. But now, by the donation from Laura, we are really inspired to go through and actually make it come true. To do that, well, um, I'm just not precisely 100% there, but we wanna do more. We wanna do much, much more, and we wanna share the incredible stuff, the stuff that very rarely is visited because of the remote areas that the locations are, and the areas that are totally forgotten because people don't know they are there. So, what are we going to do? Are we going to buy a tank? No. Are we going to buy a car? No. Are we going to get an aircraft? No. We are going to see if we can get ourselves a little camper van. We're not talking about a huge new brand new fashion thing. We are talking about a little smaller one, a cheaper one that can be affordable just by having it and all that. And why? Because we can actually stay overnight in that thing and it can actually be a second headquarters from the history of the team and that is what it's kind of going to be about so in the very near future i think i will see and try to collect my thoughts about how to do this see how far we come towards the target of uh, being able to get one laura just kickstarted us with a fantastic donation and i just have to say thank you thank you thank you so much laura for that but even more thank you for the incredible inspiration kick in the butt that we got and i really want to go through with this i might need a little bit of help out there from you guys and girls when you see my video come up regarding that please check it out and if you want to take part in something very special and something new that we're going to do, well, be my guest. So you're going to see that video. And when you see it, well, it's up to you. We'll do our very best. We have for like eight or nine years. And we have like 250 videos showing you that. So we are dedicated and we will actually be even more dedicated in the future if we can get our kind of heads together and get that camper van. So can't wait for that and thank you again Laura for your incredible idea yeah that's a German helmet Stahlhelm 42 that's going to be given away to all my supporters and behind that diorama that's an MG German machine gun munition box that we took out with the firefish ROV you can see one of my videos now it's now restored it's going to be a video 
2% for my supporters and we're going to give that away as well. But every month there are some incredible people who decide they want to become a part of the History Hunter team and support what we do and uh, this month someone has actually done that as well. So we want to uh, say a huge thank you to Michael, Mark, James, Jacob, Chris, T, Snowman, David, Chris, and Darren. Thank you so very much for becoming uh, supporters and uh, part of the History Hunter theme. And you now will have access to different kind of materials like for your eyes only videos, behind scenes, restoration projects, all of that stuff. There's going to be a special vlog also coming up for my patrons only. So you're going to be able to take part in our travel and arrangement and research things and all of that. I'm going to visit some museums, some archives, all stuff. It's going to be something only for my patron supporters. Well, we have a little welcome as patron uh, supporter or team member at Diorama. I created this little uh, Third Reich daily life. It's one of the Zigarettenkarten cards. It is original genuine card from the Second World War. One of the items that the German soldiers collected and put in albums and, you know, swapped in their in between times when they were in the barracks or in the bunkers, even in the trenches, they could kind of see who had which cards and all of that. And uh, they're all kind of part of the Third Reich propaganda stuff, all of that crap. Well, nevertheless, let's see who the lucky owner of that will be. Jacob. I'm not using the full name to all of you because I don't know if you like that. But nevertheless, Jacob, you are now the proud owner of, of a little piece of history. I signed it and I think that would be very, very nice to have as a little talking piece, a conversation piece. Other than that, thank you so very much for all of you becoming uh, team members. And I think that together we will share history in a very special way. We don't get it. This place is totally wacky. It's massively big. That's an exit. So what do we have here then? Wow. What the heck? Right, we're gonna go in here. Look at this. This is crazy stuff. Hope you're enjoying this. We go out, we do the research, we do the travels, we do the walking and you can sit back and enjoy this. Got the old light again. Boom. Oh, wow. A lot of new stuff coming up and I think you're going to enjoy that. We have two more dioramas to give away to the lucky new owners. We have this thing here, a Mauser K98 cartridge diorama with a 1938 Z marked cartridge. We have a Red Army themed World War II diorama with the uh, Soviet PPSH-41 uh, submachine gun. So we're going to see who the lucky owners of these pieces will be. William, this one goes out to you. And we have, this one goes out to Dennis. Thank you so very much for your very kind support. And I uh, hope you'll enjoy these small tokens of our appreciation and take care of them for the very, very long future. We're gonna have a couple of dioramas for those supporting with 25 bucks up or more for each month. Uh, we have this typical German MG42 diorama. I signed it. We have some belt links for the MG that we found in a foxhole east of Berlin where the SS was. And we have a cartridge here. So pretty nice, pretty nice. We have one of the uh, original um, letters, uh, felt post letters. It's actually 24th of 8th, 1942 is the date. See the uh, Adler down there. So let's see who the lucky owners of these will be. We will give this one to Timothy. Thank you again for your very, very kind support during the time. Always appreciate it. And then Michael. You are the lucky owner of the MG display. Hope you enjoyed that. Take good care of them. They will be a piece to remember for the stories and the time we spent together out there. So thank you very, very much for that. You see already down there on the end of the piece, it actually starts to work. I'm gonna blow away. So I'm 
that you can actually see it starts to fizz and, and do the job at the part. So this is promising. Oh yes, and even more for those who are joining the World War II History of the Theme on Patreon. There will be a lot more coming up. These are going to be giveaways. We have done some restoration for these projects on the Patreon thing. We have 7.5 centimeter felt Kanuna, 16N uh, shell casing. We have a Gott Trommel. We have done the restoration together. Me, myself, Eagle Eyes, my son with the Patreon supporters and this one's also going to be given away. It's a lid for the Gurt Trommel for the machine gun. There's a uh, shell casing for a German Panzerabwehr Kanon 36. Looks like that. That's also a little thing that we've done together. This one is a US uh, barbed wire and uh, cable cutter. This is also a piece that we restored and it's going to be given away. So. A lot of perks for those who want to become part of the history of the team and we give them away monthly. Every month I want to create something special for a very special individual. I create what I call a patron of the month diorama and this time we have something pretty serious actually. Uh, it's a barbed wire piece from a German World War II prisoners of war camp where the uh, motto was Arbeit macht frei. Signed it. It's a bit serious, but uh, it actually goes to a very, very cool gentleman that's been very active lately. Uh, he's always producing and giving some incredible feedbacks, links, and some incredible cool um, comments to read. And that's what it's all about. You know, you out there, we here, the, the community going back and forth. That's what I really love about this. And that's why we strive so hard to give away so many of the items that we find so that you can actually take part in the history in a very special way. And that's what I mean in a very special way. We are not about reading out from books or serving you black and white reels that you've seen 100,000 times before. We do not copy and paste to make it interesting and put some music on. This is the real deal. All of this is the real stuff. We dragged that out of a lake using the ROV. We dug that with my son and daughter in a blizzard in a, a um, gun placement. Me and my son found that in scoring heat in a area where the uh, Allied cut through the German barbed wire fence systems. All of these we have done and found ourselves. So we do a lot of work and uh, some of you appreciate that even more than others. And I have to say, when I created the uh, Patreon of the Month diorama thing, I want it to be a little symbol of our appreciation, but at the same time, I want you to have something special. I, I, and I think this is. But nevertheless, who will this go to? Well. It's to you, Tim. <laughs> You're such a funny guy, and uh, I just have to say, you deserve the patent of the month in September. Snowman, this is all yours. It's a more serious thing than uh, most of the things that we share together, but nevertheless, it's, it's a token of our appreciation, and we really enjoy having you as a part of our team. Thank you, and congratulations on being patron of the month. When you go to the uh, Patreon support page, you can see that there you have the possibility to kind of support us with 50 bucks or more for each, every one of you who do that. I will create a special diorama only for you. And this month, there are two gentlemen who decided to do that. So I created one more of the German MG42 displays with the, uh, the belt piece from the MG found in a uh, Vauxhall where the SS was. A cartridge that was supposed to use, be used in one of these. And then I also created this German World War II boot iron diorama. These are original, never issued, uh, old stockpiled front toe irons from the German boots. Never been used. I have some of them and I thought that would be appropriate. So let's who, see who the lucky owners will be. Michael Oliver, well, you are actually back thank you for that you support us for a very long time and we do appreciate that so when you come back of course we want to reward you with another beautiful little diorama thank you michael for being there for us and uh, through your kind support we can do even greater things so this one will go to mark 
you know who you are and I will definitely send it out to you as soon as possible. Very often it takes about eight to 10 days before I can ship it out because I need to collect all the addresses. There are some things going back and forth with the information and then suddenly I'll stack them all. I stack them, pack them, rack them and send them at once. So uh, be patient and you will definitely get them. Myron sent me that picture. I think it was from his granddad was the guy flying that aircraft during the second world war they colorized it and this is so great with the community that we have some of you send me your stories or images or pictures and it's such a blast to be able to share what we do together we have a passion for the history and especially the second world war and images like that it's just so crazy to see thank you Martin, for sending us that and sharing it and uh, if you have some cool photos you want me to share with the rest of the world let me know and we'll put them in the uh, uh, team member videos out there. Oh yes, that is quite a special little artifact found by Bunker Buster Girl on the Eastern Front in a forest towards Berlin. And we have a incredible five centimeter granat Waffe 36 mortar piece. It's been 3D printed by Roy, thank you for that. And he wanted me to have that available for some of you donating to the PayPal thing. So how does that work? Well, you can donate whatever you like. Each month I pick two of the highest, or I pick the two highest donations and I'll give away these wonderful pieces from the Second World War. This month, these are the guys and girls who did that. So I want to say a huge thank you to Michael, Laura, Donald, Brian, Martin, Timothy, Tim, and Monica. You are the guys and girls who decided that our work was so cool that you could donate a little bit for us to play around with. And we thank you so much for that. But now we're going to see who the uh, lucky winners are for these two here. And I'm going to do a little special comment here when it comes to that one. But that is also going to be something that we talk about a little bit afterwards. So, da da da! Laura and Michael, you are the lucky ones. This one goes to Michael. This is a very, very unique piece. It's the same size as the original one, and it's the original paint color, everything. The only difference is that it's plastic and you can hang it on the wall and it won't rust for the next hundred years. So congratulations with a very, very cool thing from the past. Then when it comes to this track link here, there's a little message from the finder here. I work really hard to find this one, Laura, and I hope you take good care of it. Greetings from the Bunker Buster Girl. You heard that, Laura? He worked very hard to find that piece. And well, what can I say? This is an incredible artifact from the past. It was found, as I said, in a forest. Why doesn't it focus? It was found in a forest very close to a road going towards Berlin, where the Red Army stormed in. And we just kind of preserved it, kept the moment. You can see the battle damage there. It is very heavy. It will stay like this for a very long time. And hopefully it will be a very special piece for you to keep for what I think is a very long time. <laughs> well, Laura, you got that. And um, thank you for your very, very kind support. We'll get back to Laura in a little while. But also to all of you out there. Thank you for the kind, kind donations. Really helps us out to do more. And it enables me also as a dad to be able to kind of give something special back to my son, my daughter, and also all of you. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for, for doing that. But now let's have a look at what's up for grab for next month, uh, PayPal donations. So uh, we'll find out what that is. So that's the uh, link to the PayPal thing. I'll put the link in the description of the video as well. 
But when we go out there, there's a lot of special things comes that comes our way. And uh, today I've got something really special actually. And um, this piece here it is actually very unique, even though it's just a little tiny piece. This is from a German uh, 150 centimeter searchlight, searchlight, a Flak Scheinwerfer 34. That's how it looks. This is actually a piece of the glass that was found by Eagle Eyes close to a spot. You can see a video where we find some incredible pieces of that smashed out there in nature. So that is pretty nice to think. How often can you say that you actually have a piece of a German searchlight from the Second World War and it was found at the spot where it actually stood in the Second World War. So that is pretty unique. Then I got something that I never have actually put out there uh, earlier. And uh, this is a kind of a little small collection of some paperwork. My Patreon supporters can see that we're gonna study some of this later. We have already. And there are some images of the uh, cigarette carton. We have a felt post uh, envelope there. We have some very eerie <laughs> black and white photos there from the German Reich, you could say. And uh, we have some uh, Jugend, Hitler Jugend magazines. And this one here is very special. Kriegsbruderei der Deutschen Jugend. And, uh, these are pretty cool. They are like those days, um, um, what do you call them? Uh, magazines to, to read in for, for youth. And uh, they are pretty uh, specially um, kind of set up to maximize the propaganda effect of what took place during those years. But nevertheless, I don't really give a rat's ass about the politics, all of that. For me, they are just details to look at, details to study and learn from. So I kind of feel that they belong in the, the community that we are into. I'm not into anything of politics or whatever. These are just basic items for me. And uh, some of you might like to have a look at that and enjoy what you can see there. So basically just take all the donations come in and I'll choose the two highest ones. So check it out next month who the lucky owners will be of these fantastic World 2 artifacts. I'm going to show you uh, the answer of uh, the competition we had during the last giveaway videos. I put in some letters coming suddenly here on the screen, here, 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 during that video. And uh, that will be a series of letters and you were supposed to puzzle that back together and uh, send me that, only that name. And uh, then we have three winners today that will receive their own Germany, uh, genuine, um, oh, what am I saying? Genuine Pioneer Service Money Belt that was found in a stockpile in the UK not too long ago. They were meant to go with the uh, Allied forces invading the beaches and uh, they were actually forgotten, never issued. And I have some of them and now you will have them. So, what were the uh, letters saying? Well, it actually said Lumberjack. In Operation Lumberjack was a military operation with the goal of capturing the West Bank of the Rhine River and seizing key German cities near the end of World War II. So, the Ludendorff uh, Bridge was one of the uh, happenings there. A very very special thing that happened but operation lumberjack was what i was looking for and we have three lucky winners joe isabella and jim you are the winners and i will make sure that i can send them out to you to you as soon as possible thank you all the rest for taking part there was quite a lot of you so it was quite interesting to see how many variations of the answers there were but the only one that was correct was lumberjack <laughs> so there will be more competitions for my patreon supporters coming up in some of the uh, for your eyes only videos and i think you will actually enjoy some of the uh, prizes that will be available for them Oh, I'm so excited about the camper van thing. Just think about the possibilities that we can have and the possibilities that all of you incredible people out there give us. But 
before we kind of end off here, I want to say a special greeting to some people. Thank you for your very kind support, and uh, I'll give it my best. Um, thank you I have to Michael, Donald, Bob, Snowman, Michael, Vintage Speedworks, William, Laura, Mary, Cynthia, Brian, Dennis, Emil, and what can I say? Without people like you, we wouldn't have been able to do what you see we do. And also as a father, I wouldn't have been able to give my children the possibility to learn through history as we do together. I have to say that is the most incredible privilege that I have in my life. That is to be able to uh, go out and do what I do with my kids and share with all of you. So thank you again, all of you here. Also, thank you each and every one of you who watch the videos, who comment, subscribe, share, who hit the notification bell, who watch the videos in full length, all of you who subscribe and just being out there for us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is about us doing stuff together. And I have to say, giving away these details here is something that I really, really take pride in doing. And I'm very, very glad when I get you know, feedbacks from you guys showing showing me where you have it in your mental piece or in your on your on your cabinet. Uh, it's just such a joy to see what I think is history is by this everywhere. There's no point of this being with us just kind of locked in. It's a worldwide museum, you could say. When Laura gets this, she has a real piece of the World War II history with her. It's not locked in in some kind of museum. And she can pull it up every day and she can look at it and say, wow, I actually watched and saw that moment when that was found. And that is what it's all about for us to be able to go out, to be able to do all the research, travel around, do all the hard stuff, and then in the end get the reward of showing it and sharing it. And for Eagle Eyes to learn this, for Bunker Buster Girl to learn this, and for me to be able to learn from it and share it with all of you, that is the absolute best thing in the world. I'm a bit uh, drippy here. I, I got a little cold, so you have to excuse me. It's kind of part of the season, I guess. And also, we, we get sometimes sick because we're out there. And uh, as I said, I think the camp event can really give us a completely new way of doing this because we can reach so many incredible positions. And it's like when you go out there and you travel to a place with a regular car, you have to do a one day thing and you have to find somewhere to stay. And then it will be broken up to small pieces and you can just cover around one or two places, maybe a weekend or something like that. And then you have to go back. Sometimes you have to drive for like, a thousand kilometers to get somewhere and then you have to drive back and there is nothing there there's nothing you're like 20 50 100 miles out in no man's land and there's nowhere to stay and i can stay in the car easily i've been sleeping out so many times but i cannot kind of do that towards eagle eye especially him he's such a young lad and i don't want him to get sick i've done that so many times so who knows maybe in a few uh, weeks time, the History Hunter team can introduce a little camper van for us to create even more material from. And as I said, that would be incredible to have some videos of us sitting in there, doing some research, sharing some details of what we're gonna do, and then show you some travel vlogs of what the area is and where are we and, and all of that good stuff. So let's hope for the very best and you have to look out for that video when it comes. I might do some kind of a GoFundMe thing or something like that. I'm not sure. But we're going to do some calculations here and see what we have and see what we need and uh, let's see if you can help us out to get that target being fulfilled. Who knows? Nevertheless, Thanks. This was a long rabble babble. Hope you enjoyed it. There will be more coming out soon in the very near future. You know that. So we've been here for like eight, nine years. We have 300,000 subscribers and uh, 250, 60 videos. So there's a lot of stuff for you to enjoy if you want to. Thank you again, all my incredible people out there to the team members. 
again, my hat off for you. You are really doing the best for us. And we do appreciate each and every one of you. All right. See you later. Stay safe and keep smiling.